going on, people? My name's Timmy Joe Megan Videos, computers, whatever, blah, 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 junk, internet. How you doing today? Uh, you got a little bit of 3000 RTX series, uh, you know, fever, like everyone else does, because uh, the internet sure is blowing up by this. And uh, if you were watching that live stream with me, the live stream of the live stream, uh, my channel last uh, week, thank you very much. I had a lot of fun with that. There were some super chats, there were some meme reviews, there was some fun. And uh, it turned out that the RTX 3000 series launch might be one of NVIDIA's best in a long time. And the memes are certainly flowing in on the internet. And uh, since we were doing some meme reviews on that uh, live stream of RTX on and off and stuff like that, well, stuff like uh, like this. <laughs> uh, Laura Croft, RTX off, Laura Croft, RTX on. I don't know, is that is that even appropriate anymore? Black, anyways, blackface. <laughs> Poor little child. Anyway, so Jensen there in his kitchen with a plethora of whatever. What the hell is behind him? Like a marble statue? It doesn't even make sense. Uh, we were, thought we would do some meme reviews. And then in doing research for this, um, I was uh, I found that somebody already kind of did this. Well, I'm sure more than one person has done this. Uh, but Kyle Bitwit, I didn't, I'm not stealing your idea because you stole this idea from any number of other people. You. And I was doing the RTX memes on the, the stream before, so shut up, people out there. We can all have a laugh at some memes. What really got me going on this subject was, um, well, a, a Facebook feed. Uh, I'm like on a bunch of PC builder like groups on Facebook. I so rarely go on Facebook, but I happened to see this. Uh, and I, it made me laugh a lot. 2080 Ti owner and loving it, not regretting anything. And I can't wait for the new tech to come out like any other time. It's been, I bet this game since 1998. Quit the stupid memes. It's pathetic. You really gonna get mad at the internet for memes? I also enjoy burning 600 pounds. Dude, he rocked top tier performance for two years. I think the 2080 Ti memes are silly. Running dual 2080 Ti's here and still loving them. Why are you running two dual 2080 Ti's? There's only a couple of reasons why. So yeah, <laughs> but apparently he's being applauded there. Yay! And then I like this guy. You mean stop the memes because you're severely butthurt. I just thought this was pretty good. And then you got the guys carrying away the RTX 2080 there on the, in the you know, it's supposed to be a casket. So I thought that, you know, reviewing some of these memes, this was making me laugh quite hard. And you know what? I'm not super butthurt because I was never willing to pay $1,200 USD for one of these things. Keeping in mind that in Canadian dollars, they're up there near two grand for a 2080 Ti right now, or at least, uh, you know, before the amount, I'm, I'm sure. And I've actually seen a quite a plethora, even in my hometown of people trying to sell their 2000 series RTX cards, which kills me. I'll hold, hold on to this one though, because I did a super good deal if you didn't follow the series. I bought the world's cheapest 2080 Ti, which was $1,100 Canadian, which was like, ah, uh, man, like uh, $850 USD. And it was a blower model from an Alienware PC. And when I got it, it would thermal throttle and then it would die and reset the PC due to thermal limitations. I fixed it with the blower on it, uh, but came up with a few other solutions. Uh, but best thing of all on eBay, I got $300 Canadian back, bringing, making it so I paid $800 Canadian for this RTX 2080 Ti. So that's like 625, $630 USD. And then I bought uh, for about, a hundred bucks said and done, uh, a Zotac cooler for it from China. And uh, I've been loving it ever since. And uh, I mean, it's got a green PCB, but it, it, it works great. And uh, I don't feel so bad about spending about 650, maybe $700 USD on an RTX 2080 Ti, because I tried really hard not to spend that $1,200 MSRP. So let's get to the butthurt people and their memes and the whatnots and what have yous. There's some funny ones out there, that's for sure. So these were kind of from before the announcement. Uh, you know, you see here that the 3090 is so big, you'll need a whole Amazon Prime van to bring it to your house uh, along the same vein. Here is a uh, forklift, you know, bringing in the new RTX. It looks like there's a lot of uh, reams of paper. I don't know what kind of a, a warehouse this is where there's just RTX 3080, 3090s or whatever in paper. But, you know, it's a funny meme. You know, got it up on there on the pallet. Good Photoshop job. Not bad. And then, uh, you know, the power requirements. 
everyone was really worried. And then this is, you know, of course the back of a 3090. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six power, like um, AC power connectors, which makes no sense. And a VGA output. That's, that's probably what was happening. But we found out it might not be actually as bad. They're probably gonna be around as hot and as power hungry as these cards. At least the 3080, 3090 is going to be an interesting one to check out. I can't wait to see, uh, you know, the proper, you know, channels, hardware, and box gamers, Nexus doing their thing with that uh, card. But moving on to some more memes. Here we go. This one's a video meme, and it just made me laugh uh, a little bit. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. <laughs> That's a good one, definitely. So oh, showing some Nardwar <laughs> strong bad memes. <laughs> that one was a good one. I thought that was pretty good. So of course, in order to spend uh, the money on the, the RTX, you're gonna have to give away a kidney. Uh, RTX off. You have both kidneys, RTX on. You have one kidney. That kind of makes sense here. And here's, a, you know, me ent entering my house after having a successful kidney operation. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, expensive, no this time, which is nice. I think that these memes are a little bit, uh, you know, before the launch kind of deal. The, the, the pricing doesn't seem to be too bad, but we'll have to see AIB partner models availability. I'm sure with COVID, it's gonna be a cluster. We're not, you think that the launch is this month, you're probably not getting your hands on one of these things. Let's hope that Nvidia has made it a little bit better for stock and stuff than you know other companies in previous years and stuff like that. Everyone on the announcement, I can't wait for the new RTX cards and then me. Why the fuck you got so many spatulas? Uh, I said that on the live stream for sure. And he's hiding a graphics card behind the spatulas. Why so many spatulas, Jensen? You making a lot of cakes? Maybe you went down to Spatula City. Spatula City! Spatula City! And this weekend only, take advantage of our special liquidation sale. Spatula City! Spatula City. <laughs> oh man, Spat yeah, UHF, that's right. All right, so there's a Jensen meme with some spatulas. Thought that was, it's made with meme o -matic. <laughs> Moving on. Of course, we have to do this one. Just, we'll, we'll do the whole thing, because it's, well, well, not the whole thing, but most of it. So the price of the RTX 2080 Ti, say, listen, we'll give you the new tech like RTX, DLSS, so you can see the light bouncing off of Lara Croft's titties. <laughs> RTX DLSS AI, common, come on, let's go. And this is the future, which means your games will look like ass. 4K is what you need, PC Master Race, all for just $1,200, right? Two years later, we threw the 38 for 499. <laughs> this one and the Hitler one. <laughs> I wasn't gonna show the Hitler one. 499. <laughs> what do you say? It's even less. Half, it's even less than half of those dumps <laughs> on 2080 Ti. Basically, you make the beta test our new tech and pay twelve hundred dollars. We give them two extra rays and make them pay double than before. <laughs> Anyways, we've all seen that meme a hundred times, but it definitely applies here very well to the uh, RTX two thousand versus three thousand series, as well as the the old Hitler World War Two one. That one was a good one too, but I wasn't gonna play that whole thing on here. All right, moving on to some more memes. And uh, of course we got Andy here. I don't wanna play with you anymore. <laughs> Definitely appropriate. I like that one for sure. <laughs> Nvidia before, it was AMD versus Nvidia. And uh, I doubt you could make Iron Man like this much smaller in that one, but you know, we get it. It was the Civil War. And then NVIDIA now is uh, America's ass uh, versus himself, which is pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, there's a meme for you. I think it's pretty funny. Let's move it on. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Yes, um, if you bought one of these full retail, press F for sure. Moving on. NVIDIA RTX 3000 series, PC users holding them up. AMD's kind of drowning. And then Intel, 
<laughs> Dead in the water. <laughs> Pretty good one. Pretty good one. AMD's staying afloat. At least not, I don't know. We'll see. Intel's graphic solutions. There's no way that ever actually happens, right? The best thing we get out of all that in, Intel's going to make graphics cards bullshit is going to be some better integrated graphics that just compete with the integrated graphics that AMD is offering. That's that. That's all that's going to be there. That's all. That, that's my prediction. Moving on. No, the NVIDIA RTX 3080 doesn't just kill the PS5 and Xbox Series X. No, no, no. He's got a point. The 3070 did. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I don't know. We'll see how these consoles work out. I'm hoping that the whole reason why like AMD is not at the table right now is because the PS5 and the Xbox whatever Series X is taking up a lot of their graphics time and they're using that experience to make a good GPU for once. There, I said it. <laughs> Moving on. NVIDIA RTX 3090. My, my Xbox PS5. Yeah, yeah, Xbox, X, PS, yeah. All right, there we go. There we, Undertaker memes. That's what we're getting at. Moving on, PS5 consoles that way. Ha <laughs> ha, gamers, 3070 this way, 499. You know, it's still like really expensive to build a computer even if a 3070 is 499. So I'm sure that there will be some validity for the console generation, I'm sure. Moving on. So you heard of this? AMD's been sitting idly by, not doing anything, and then, you know, the guy comes up and pokes AMD and says, come on, do something. Uh, what, wait, what the fuck is this? Forget the NVIDIA RTX 30 series. AMD is selling bikes now, and I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. NVIDIA releases new 3000 series GPUs, and AMD says, fuck this, I'm selling bikes. Like, for real, they have a, a bike. <laughs> like a crappy bike, kind of, to, to, too, like, it looks like maybe something, like look at the seat on there. <laughs> it's got like a steel post. I'm, I'm a mountain bike aficionado and this, it's got plastic pedals. This is a very crappy mountain bike. Like this is the highest end you could get at Walmart or something like that. And they're, they're selling it for $2.99 with an AMD sticker on it. <laughs> it's not a good bike at all. Don't buy it. They released some crappy bike. <laughs> That's orange tires though. That, that made me laugh. I don't know. Why are they making bikes? Such a stupid thing to come out right at the 3000 series launch. It's just making us scratch our heads. Where is Big Navi? It's been a long time. <laughs> Anyways. All right. This is the last, uh, one of the last ones here. And uh, of course we got McConaughey. You're going to love the new RTX 3070. Faster than the 2080 Ti, the Turing Enthusiast GPU priced at $1,200. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the new GeForce RTX 3070. <laughs> Let me show it to you. <laughs> it's a work of art. 20 shader teraflops. Anyways, teraflops. you get it. McGonaghy is going to cry because he's watching the announcement and he just bought a 2080 Ti. It's so funny. It's so funny. And then this one I just threw in there because um, I just love that the arm is coming out of Pikachu. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so this has been RTX 30 and 20 series versus AMD versus Intel versus your wallet and your kidneys.com meme review. I'm your host, Timmy Joe. I hope I made you laugh today a little bit. I hope I didn't piss you off, and I hope that you uh, have a good day, and I hope you didn't just buy a 2080 Ti for $1,200 or more. Uh, but seriously, look at the prices of these things in Canada. Yeah, it's absolutely bedonkers. Anyways, I, I have one here at least, but uh, I, I seriously noticed that this thing isn't fast enough on some games for my 165 hertz 1440p monitor. So I'm looking forward to this. Also HDMI 2.1, do some uh, 4K 120 Hertz over HDMI. That's gonna be really cool too. So what do you guys think of the memes? What do you think of the reviews? What do you think of the 3000 series? Are you excited? I certainly am. Hope I made you laugh. You guys have a good day. And uh, don't sell your kidney. I'm sure that you can save money some other way. That would be stupid. See you later.